Hi guys, my name is Mani, and today we are going to learn how to swap measures in Tableau as per one's needs and preferences. So let's start by understanding what exactly I mean by swapping measures. Uh, basically, what uh, we have is a bar chart right now, which shows my sales for my each subcategory. Right? We are going to be using our usual the superstore data set, which is available in Tableau itself. So the first thing, uh, so what we want to do over here is that uh, we have measures against each of our subcategory, and we want the want to give the user an option to select their measures, whether they want to see the sales or maybe profit or maybe you know if we have something else, for example discount or quantity over here, we can choose that. So today we are going to learn how to swap measures with using sales and profit for the time being. So this is exactly how it's going to work. I get to choose the measure which is profit and sales right now and whenever I choose the measure it gets changed automatically the axis changes in the measure also so the first thing that we need to do is actually make a buy chart so I'll bring in my subcategories and also for the time uh, I'll bring in my subcategories and measures right now I am leaving it blank because I want it to be dynamic so the first thing that we need to do is create a parameter which gives the option of choosing which makes a list of both my measures which I want. So I'll give it the maybe the name of choose measure or uh, you can give any name you want again and uh, because sorry about the spelling mistake yeah you can give it uh, any name you want and I'll make it to a string because uh, my measure names are string and it's going to be a list. So uh, I'll give my I want to give an option of sales profit uh, and maybe let's also do discount while we are at it right and make sure that what whenever you give the value the value is exactly the same as our measures given the case okay and display as you can leave it like this or if you want to change it you can change it to anything else if you want it's not a compulsion so this is done now I want to make a calculated field which says that you know whenever I'm choosing a parameter this should happen. So I'll use cases. So the first one is when uh, the chosen uh, sorry 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 uh, case is my parameter which is choose my measure. So whenever my chosen measure it basically says that you know whenever when my chosen measure is sales then I want to give the output of sales uh, when it's uh, maybe you know profit then the output should be profit and the third one was I suppose uh, discount again this should exactly be the same the spelling also should exactly be the same as your parameter otherwise it won't work discount and end okay and this maybe we can give uh, chosen measure and again you can change your name to whatever you want to so it becomes chosen measure uh, yeah now what I want is I want to give chosen measure measure in my columns and I got a very nice bar graph and I'll show the parameter now what happens is let's see if I change it to profit my chart changes if I change discount it changes but the one thing which I don't like is that I am unable to see what exactly I have chosen because it's just showing chosen measure. I also want to see what I've chosen. So I'll bring in the chosen measure in my columns. So it has created the text. I'll remove this uh, show header and I'll also remove this label name and uh, remove this also. So now I've got a very nice, uh, you know, bar graph which says uh, whatever I have chosen right now discount if I change it to profit it becomes profit if I change it to sales it becomes sales so guys this was all for today and uh, do like and subscribe to our channel if you are liking our content and also to stay updated on more such videos thank you bye